We are about to embark on one of the fastest trains in the world. We are going to take Korea's bullet train for the very first time. This is crazy, stepping on a bullet train. We are escaping the city of Seoul and taking a two hour journey to the countryside of Gwangju. This is what we need. And we can't wait to see what that looks like at 300 kilometers per hour. So we're gonna see if it lives up to its fabulous reputation. Wow, good morning, Seoul. So it's about nine in the morning and we have just arrived at Seoul station, which is the center station that links everything here in Seoul. We're about to get on a bullet train, which is something we have never even seen before, let alone been on. Cool bags. This is what the train station looks like and it's pretty huge. It's quite impressive already. And we booked our tickets online. The process was very simple and it cost us about 39,000 won, which is around $30. On our train ticket, it tells us which car and which seat we're in. So we're in car 10 on this train on this side. We don't have any of these in South Africa. And today's like a little bit of a special day. I feel like a little kid getting the opportunity to go on this train today. <laughs> this is crazy, stepping on a bullet train. next level this is. Even though we're just in the economy seat, we've got really spacious seats, kind of looks like an airplane seat. We've even got a footrest and it looks like we have some ports as well. We've even got a nice trick table. We've got a pocket seat with a magazine for our water. So we are taking the train to Busan but obviously we will stop at one stop just before Busan. Since we are South African, you probably didn't know that we don't have a metro system. Maybe we will in a couple of years, but we don't have a subway or an underground station. We have just gone 10 15. It was exactly on time. Welcome aboard the KTX bound for Busan. We will do our best to make your journey as comfortable as possible. Did you really download a speed app? I really downloaded a speed app. <laughs> we don't have trains like this, so I had to see for myself. <laughs> You're so funny. What's crazy is this speedometer only goes up to 260. Oh dear. And we're going over 300. So another thing is there is free Wi-Fi on the train for everyone. Are you connected right now? Just connected, just like that. Oh my gosh. I kind of feel super sad that we're leaving Seoul so soon, but really excited to explore more South Korea. I'm so impressed by this train. On time, clean, spacious, comfy. It's very chuffed about a speed app. <laughs> You're picking up speed, dang! Real quick, we want to say a big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video and keeping our online data safe for the past year. We have used our VPN in over seven different countries and it's been a lifesaver, literally. If you don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network and it encrypts all of our information sent between our device and the internet so no one can steal our sensitive information. We spend all of our time online, mostly connecting to public Wi-Fi, which is every hacker's dream. 
But with Surfshark, we are always protected, whether we're booking flights, hotels, or even on a bullet train. But it's not only about security. My favorite show on Netflix is Pretty Little Liars, and Netflix took that away from me. I mean, is there any chance this really was an accident? But it's so easy to change our virtual location to Canada or Australia and boom, binged eight hours casually. So here's a little something for the holidays. If you want to sign up, use our code SHEVENDEV to get 85% off, plus an extra three months for free, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk to try it out. To sign up, just click the link in the description below. This is the bathroom. First impressions, very clean. So, tap, toilet roll. We've even got a hand dryer. We've got seat cover, step on the pedal, off to use. Okay, so that's the flush. Step on the pedal. in the city center I think so we need to take maybe a 20 minute bus to the city center the train arrived boom on time exactly what it said on our ticket this right here is a waiting room in the summertime it is cool in there so you can go in there to cool down and then in the winter time you can go in there to stay warm wow I love South Korea that was really cool Let's go and try and figure out how to get into the city center. It's freezing here. Let's Put go. your jacket on. Yeah. So where's the bus? We go out here? Well, into number one and turn right. Turn right. Okay. 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 Thank you, from somebody. They have tourist information centers. Everywhere. They have free Wi-Fi everywhere. And she gave us a little map. Oh, it's freezing. Wow, oh, look at this. She wrote on here that we either need to take bus 50, 70 or 700. And I think the bus station's right here. Okay. okay. I think that's bus 70. Oh, made it. It was a little bit of a rush because we had to just jump on. We didn't know we didn't know how to pay. We gave him some cash, but we got here. I think this is the right terminal because it looks like we're in the center of town. He kind of just got off, so because yeah, everyone was getting off. So there's a little <coughs> touch screen mappy here. So maybe we can kind of figure out where we are. Okay, so we actually made a mistake. We got too nervous and got off the bus too early and we're actually 20 minutes away from our hotel. It's green. Oh, okay, so we're doing this. We're walking 20 minutes across the town to our hotel. 
Look at big bags. Good way to see the town. Oh, look at those. They look like the chocolate hills that we went to in the Philippines. But I actually wow. think they're tombs. Amazing. I'm so glad we walked. There was a reason why we got off the bus too early. We were supposed to see this. <laughs> So we got recommended to come to the city from our good friends Bonnie and Young. If you haven't seen our previous video where we spent the day with some local Koreans in Seoul, this city is so interesting because it was once the fourth biggest city in the world. And now it's one of the smallest and I don't think there's going to be many tourists. I There's no one around, so we're entertaining ourselves at the moment. Until check-in. Problem is, how do you get off? <laughs> We've now actually come strolling through this park where all the tombs are. I think some of the royal kings or royalty from the Joshin dynasty are actually buried here. How did the trees grow on its side? It's very quiet and it kind of seems like you come to the park and hang out with your friends. It's kind of interesting to take in such a contrast from Seoul and come here. It kind of feels a little deserted. Okay, this is more like it. We've now entered, I think it's like one of the older villages, but it's super popped up. It's got loads of coffee shops, cafes, photo booths, clothing shops, fashion shops, and loads of street food as well. No staff again. The robot makes your coffee. This machine will make your coffee for you. He's moving. Hello. This is where everybody is. We're like, where's everybody? They're here. They're getting fun drinks. They're getting dessert, street food, coffee. What's a fun drink? A fun drink is something fun, like a fizzy drink or a milkshake or a yogurt drink or a fruity drink. A fun drink. You want a fun drink? So we're actually trying something called a pizza hot cup, which is actually like a filled pancake. Pizza. Oh, thank you. Wow, it's like she's frying them up right here. You can have a variety of different fillings like nuts or honey or cheese or whatever you like. And we're trying the pizza one because why not? You have to have a pizza hot tub, right? Just putting it on there to fry up for us. Wow, that looks awesome. So it comes in a little cup. Oh my gosh, it smells divine. It smells like pizza. Okay, I kind of see what they do and they kind of just take a big bite out of it. So I'm going to do that too. Oh my god. It's literally like a bready kind of dough. Kind of like a pizza base. It's got pizza filling. So it literally feels like a margarita pizza. Oh. <laughs> Look okay. at the cheese! Cheesy, saucy, tomato base, filled bread dough, and it's amazing. I love it. Mm. It's like a pizza, but the pizza's on the inside. Share it with me. Don't eat it all. Around all of these shops, they are actually like traditional Hanok stores, but on the inside is a fun cafe or something like that. And outside, they have all these pinball or gumball machines or like a secret prize machine. We can't help ourselves. We have to see what mystery prize we're gonna get. So it's a thousand won. Okay, put my money in. Okay. Me! What did I get? Got a super gacha, which is like a... A getcha ball. What is a getcha ball? I got stickers, like tattoos, <laughs> but they're little stickers. I think my expectations were too high. <laughs> this is the most popular thing that we have seen on this street. <laughs> it looks like a lollipop. <laughs> so it looks like a koi. Yeah, it looks like a koi. Bank of Korea. So it's a, a pastry, but it's very cheesy on the inside. Ah. And the whole idea and the craze about it is you take a bite and then you like kind of <laughs> pull on the cheese a bit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I did it. Wow, you did it. I'm not like the biggest fan of cheese, but I'll give it a go.
That was so interesting. <laughs> But I think I took a bite before it got too cheesy, so it was actually really good. This is what we need. <laughs> I'm stuck. Pull, pull, pull. No, pull down. <laughs> You're like a rabbit. <laughs> this is just a quick stopover for us, so we're gonna end the video here. But in the next video, we are going to Busan where we will be doing some really exciting things. So make sure you're subscribed for that. And please go and see our South Korea playlist and we'll see you in the next video.